Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of December. I am using the Gilded Tarot this month, along with Dorian Virtues, Romance Angels, and from my Moonology Oracle deck. Uh, if you are new to the channel, I would like to welcome you and remind everybody that this is a general reading, so it is not meant for every Sagittarius out there. If the reading resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't resonate, you can always purchase a private reading from me. My email will be at the bottom of the video and uh, you can email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and my readings are out within five days. I don't like to wait too long because I find most people who need a reading are scared, heartbroken, confused, anxious, and I don't want to make people wait. It's not a very nice feeling to be feeling like that. All right, so a little bit about myself. I am a clairsentient and clairvoyant. As, as, and as a clairsentient, what that means is I can feel what other people feel. So I can read other people's emotions. It's called reading people. That's where I shine and do my best work. So that's really my focus is to read another person's energy. I'm usually about 90% accurate when it comes to reading people's energies. All right, it's something that I've been doing all my life and I really love doing it. Um, uh, so I can feel past, present, and future. I can feel why somebody doesn't want to commit. I can feel how the other people feels, other person feels. So if I feel love, it's because they're in love. If I feel insecure, it's because they're insecure. So it's just picking up other people's emotions and feelings and reading from that. Okay. All right. So the way I do my readings, my card readings, I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till the one card falls out. I'm trying to pick up the energies of all the Sagittarius's out there. I mean, mainly what I'm picking up is this sense of optimism for you guys in the month of September. It's like you feel like there is a change coming, but you don't know what it is. And it's... um. I feel an excitement for you guys, some sort of an excitement. Um, uh, it's a, it's just a really, um, it's like a sense of optimism and us, I'm a Sagittarius as well. And we like to be positive. We are, I, ca I like to call it Sagittarians are like the golden retrievers of the dogs. We are bouncy and fun and nothing ever gets us down, you know, like jumping from person to person and making sure they're happy. I find a lot of Sagittarius's like to be very optimistic and we're always um, uh, lifting other people's spirits. So I feel like there's some sort of an optimism here, a sense of optimism, um, uh, positivity. I feel like there's a, you're on the brink of change. There's some sort of a positive change coming. Okay. All right. What is the message for Sagittarius for the month of December? Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius. All right. We have the chariot. Messages for Sagittarius. Upside down, hangman. Message for Sagittarius. Move this over just a little bit. Sagittarius, what are the messages for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius. King of Cups. Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, Message for Sagittarius, Message for Sagittarius. Three of Wands, Queen of Wands, Two 
Nine of Wands. My cards are always flipping over. Sagittarius for December. What are the messages for Sagittarius for the month of December? Third, Sagittarius for the month of December. Sagittarius for the month of December. All right. There's the Ace of Pentacles. I just want to make sure you guys can see all the cards here. I'm getting this, uh, I've ordered something that I can, I can clip to the desk and it's going to be a top view. So hopefully you guys will be able to see more of my, um, table. So that's coming. So hopefully next month it'll be a little different. All right. So here we have the 10 of wands. You're coming to an end of that cycle, that stress, exhaustion, too many responsibilities. You're carrying all your wands. You're almost there. Okay, so the Ten of Wands talks about uh, feeling overwhelmed, it's work, burden, guilt, it's a card of burdens, and you're carrying a lot of responsibilities. You're caught up in a lot of demands, and putting pressure on yourself, and you have to prioritize. This is about prioritizing, but this card is saying you're coming to the end of that cycle, okay? This is also about carrying guilt from the past. You could be carrying some sort of a guilt. Um, so just let go of that guilt. Guilt is a feeling that does not serve you any purpose. Guilt and jealousy. Guilt and jealousy are not feelings. They're not. It's a state of mind. Okay. All right. So here we have the chariot card. This is about that action and change that you're waiting for. I believe you're the one behind this chariot. The chariot is about change. And this is about progress, victory, determination. You're determined to get past this. Okay? It's about just a major departure and being determined to move forward and creating something new. It's about opportunities. See, you have the Eight of Wands down here, so there's some sort of a news coming. And the wands are already in flight, so the news, like, this is already moving. It's moving forward. You can see the messages are moving forward towards you. This is good news. This is communication is going to pick up. All right? It's going to pick up for you. You can see here the Queen of the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. There you are. Okay? Male or female. She is, this is Capricorn, sorry, this is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, but this is a reading for Sagittarius. So we're going to say this is for you, Sagittarius. You're on the opposite end of this person who's the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be involved with, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here between the two of you. You can see you're opposite and this card is right in the middle, but you're going to push forward. There's the Nine of Wands. This is about you pushing forward and wanting that new beginning. There's the ending of this this burden. All right. It's still in the distance. You can see here the three of wands is about something from afar. You're waiting for that ship to come in, but you're manifesting. This is a manifestation card. You're putting it out there. The ship is coming in and there's that new beginning. Okay. You are determined. The nine of wands is about moving forward and being determined. This is determination, strength, pushing forward. You can see he's on his knees and he's almost there, but he has to just keep pushing forward. The Ace of Pentacles speaks about that new beginning. It's about beginnings, prosperity, winning. It includes fine. It's a stable relationship. This relationship is stable. You want to get there. This is your vision. Okay, this is what you're manifesting. Uh, you're hung up right now. There's that hangman. All right. 
Uh, I believe that because this card, well, this could be regarding this person that you're dealing with. They're just kind of in limbo right now. So because it's beside each other, I believe that that has to do with that person. Um, the hangman talks about time, suspension, it's waiting, it's transition. It's waiting for a transition or a change. You want to make that change. I believe these two cards go together. This person is taking their time. I find a lot of Cancer Scorpios and Pisces. They're a little bit more. They, take, they drag their feet. They're not as sparky. They need to think about things before they do anything. Okay? But push forward. Keep manifesting. You're almost there. This is saying you're, all, you're, you're done this cycle. All right? So um, that change is coming that I feel. All right, there you are, self-assured, confident, you know what you want and that it's this person here. It's just a matter of time. Keep manifesting, all right? You're going to get that new beginning that you're looking for, okay? All right, let's see what Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels say. Sagittarius for December. Sagittarius for the month of December. Chemistry. There is enough chemistry. There's strong magnetic attraction here. There certainly is. There certainly is. All right. Okay. And Sagittarius. What are the messages for Sagittarius? What is the message for Sagittarius? What is the message? Show the world the real you. Somebody else just got this. Show the world the real you. All right. Don't hide. Don't hide your feelings. Communicate. Okay. All right. There you go. That is your reading for all of you Sagittariuses out there. I really hope this reading helps. Uh, like I said, if you would like to purchase a private reading, email me and I will get back to you within 24 hours. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, hit the bell icon. You will know every time I post a video, I do celebrity readings, I do daily messages, and please comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up, share this video. I would truly appreciate it. And I hope that all of you guys have a great month of December. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.